Welcome to Electron Online, and here's another great application for osmosis and osmotic pressure. Now we can actually generate electrical power using the principle of osmosis. Now of course that's not an easy thing to do, the principle is there, but with people's ingenuity, and it's always amazing how amazing ingenuity people can come up with, uh, here is what we have, an electrical power generating station using the principle of osmosis. And the way it works is this. You pump in fresh water on one side, we have a semi-permeable membrane. You pump in seawater on the other side. When we have a situation like this, you know that there's going to be a net flow of water molecules across the permeable membrane into the region where there's a higher concentration of solute, in this case the salt in the, in the, sol in the seawater. That additional pressure, which is very high, and we calculated in a previous uh, video, let's say at 10 degrees centigrade, the pressure on the seawater side will be the molarity, which is about 1.2 moles per liter for the solute, for the sodium and the chlorine ions, which are the predominant constituents of seawater, at least the solutes in seawater. Uh, the gas constant and then the temperature, let's say 10 degrees centigrade, about 280 degrees Kelvin, will give you a pressure of about 28 atmospheres. That's enough pressure to build a water column almost 300 meters tall, or 900 feet high. So because of that, we can, we can imagine there's this enormous pressure push the water up, and if we can then push that water up through a turbine, we can actually make the turbine turn, generate electricity, of course, then the wastewater will flow out. The problems are as follows. One is getting the flow of the water going because this is a very slow process. Osmosis works very, very slowly. So you're going to need an enormous quantity of membranes. Of course, this is not going to look quite like that. It's, it's, you need an enormous amount of membrane. And for about each square meter of membrane, if you think about it, that you push the water across, so if this is one meter squared, it generates about one watt of power. It's not a lot, but it's something. So they tried this, they actually set up a, a experimental generating station in Norway uh, about in 2009 that the, the plant came online and they were actually able to produce a power, uh, power equal to about four kilowatts, which meant that they needed a total square area, a total surface area of semi-permeable membrane of 4,000 square meters. 4,000 square meters, that's almost 40,000 square feet. Uh, that's, uh, that's quite a bit. Uh, that's like a, almost a quarter of a soccer field or a quarter of a football field. So that's a lot of square area. Of course, that's very compacted. They push the, the, the uh, fresh water through at, of course, uh, very high pressure. You need to pump the seawater in at pressure at least equal to the pressure generated in here through osmosis. You have to keep the solute up, of course, in order to build up enough pressure, you want to have enough solute in there in order to continue the flow of water up and through the turbine. So you have to keep feeding seawater in there. You have to keep adding fresh water in there so that you can have this osmotic pressure being produced. So it's a kind of an elaborate process, but nevertheless, we're able to actually generate uh, four kilowatt hours uh, of power. I should say four kilowatts, not kilowatt hours. That's a unit of energy. Now, to think about that, Four kilowatts, how much power is that? Hmm, that's probably enough to keep a few houses going. So it's not going to do a lot to society, not yet, but at least they've proven out the, the methodology and they say that the potential is there to produce power for millions and millions of people if they can just get this process going well. So it has potential, it is all based on the principle of osmosis, and who knows what else we can come up with if we just keep our heads to it and keep working at it. And that's how we do that.